Avast the internet. It's Cap Mint Beard. We're back with more of the Outer Worlds. So I was getting a little over enthusiastic searching Phineas's lab last time. And we went over time a little bit. Hack it. H. Blythe. Explain deals are really difficult to reproduce. Need your help. And necessary materials for President Halcyon. But locations elude me. Dumped a new associate. Dirt side. Terror 2 near Edgewater. They have a stake in my purpose. But trust only about 23.7 at present. The recovering ship should be along any times. Need to know where to send them. Okay. Fourteen, remember it this time. Absolutely vital. Fourteen, fourteen, fourteen. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just looting your your lab. You can calculate the movement of heavenly bodies, but not the madness of men. Yeah, in fact. Logs. Fresh flash frozen organic material reverts back to its original cell structure when treated with a tincture of dimethyl sulfoxide. Rate of explosive cell death a very respectable 6%. Difficult to acquire, limited quantities. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, artificial stasis successfully induced in cystifig specimen. Cystifig tissue returned to the living state. Brain tissue suffered from rapid nucleation. Treatment progressing, treatment failed, brain tissue irreparably damaged. By rapid onset necrosis and explosive cell death. Finished clean liquefied remains. Wow. Fresh iron Cleo's experimenting with spacious choice partially emulsified creamer substitute. Oh, okay. So he was making coffee. Okay, let me see. Experimental stock from an experimental cystic face we used as a renewable resource of nourishment named Lucky Pig Bubbles. Giving an animal name, establishes rapport, and creates a positive emotional bond. Supposedly <laughs> improves the flavor of the tumors. Oh my god. Excellent creature, cystic face. So now people used to survive without the genetic wonders of porcine succulents. Slaughtering a pig for meat instead of harvesting tumors that ripen naturally, falling off like flesh mock, falling off the flesh like mock apples off a tree. Oh my god. Well, I mean, I guess that's better for the pig. Password protected. Do it. Let's see. Have procured services one Captain Alex Hawthorne of the Unreliable. Hope he didn't name his ship after the quality of his services. We're sending one new accomplice down to Hawthorne. We escape pod as soon as revival is complete. Da, da, da. Okay. Alright, neat. So we found out a lot of uh, interesting stuff. And apparently these bumps just kind of fall off when they are ready to be consumed. That's actually very, um, very clever. Oh my goodness, hello. You're terrifying, and the, the eye is the eye is moving. It's alive. It's alive. Whoop whoop. All right, so onwards and upwards to the ground breaker. That's a pretty cool name, Groundbreaker. Phineas, do you have no loot, my dude? You don't. My goodness. I guess for an abandoned asteroid base, that's about all I could hope for. Okay. Required poster. I gotta quit accidentally doing that. You might want to consider changing your clothes more often. Oh, thanks. Oh, 
poster. Search for Sam. First Sam result. Do not forget you found a discard of Sam to try and meet its auto mechanical and reveal scrap heap. The running, she can handle Rule of Factory Standard Sud Steeper was successful. Deliver combat modify replacement part acid steeper. Nice. Okay, third. Give me a call, but the delivery of the part is lost in transit and it's not turning up anytime soon. But good news. Heard from a fellow who works. Heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows the broker who overcharged me for the information. And da -da -da -da. Old Storage Resilient Roseway, which we haven't been to yet. Okay, I oh, abandoned it years ago. So it's somewhere near Emerald Vale. Okay. Alright, so. Used to be more dashing. Are these are these posters somewhere? Anyways, whatever. Not the big deal right now. Uh, let's continue on to Groundbreaker. Uh, See Gladys at Groundbreaker. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. All right. What, dude? Stop doing that. Can we talk? Sure. Where are you? Hello. Oh, you're right here. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer, a lady named June Lay Tennyson. Okay. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. Mm. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Probably. Sure. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Totally reasonable request. Did you request. want to talk about something else? No, uh, that's it. That's what I got. Hopefully there shouldn't be... There won't be combat on the Groundbreaker. Hello, Jane Elson. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Ah, well, thanks. Don't mind the heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. Okay. I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson will get it sorted before then. That's um uh, it's comforting. Like grease and unwashed bodies. Just as I remembered. Nice. That's not the point. This hack would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. Mm. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. <laughs> Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get you with me again, you little back bay brat. I will toss you out an airlock. Hmm. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. Be a trick. Hmm. What's that about? For a stroll around the docking base? Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Nice. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. I tear your side, but well, it's not, I heard you almost knocked some of the toss ball stick. The guy insulted my Rizzo's Rangers, all right? <laughs> you can't just insult my Rangers and expect to get away with it. So, of course, I decked him with a toss ball stick. I mean, what am I? Some kind of fair weather fan? <laughs> Rizzo's Rangers. Only the finest group of tossball players ever to take the field. Mm. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. Gross. So when the chosen beat my Rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. <laughs> so you defended the honor of your team. Exactly. I was only doing what any self-respecting Rangers fan would have done. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Sounds like it. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Probably. Hey, got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, K 
Can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Mm hmm. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? That's me. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Never caught your name. Felix Millstone. Felix Millstone. Fix it, Felix. All right. See you around, boss. Alrighty, cool. Let's get this party moving. There's some vending machines. And inspection, right this way. Hey, what's up? Identification, please. Here you go. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Oh. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Hmm. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Word. We've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. <laughs> well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Now, I just want to point Probably. out real quick, like, looking at all these people, they have very realistic faces. Like, it, they, don't, they don't look idealized. They don't look like, you know, whatever. They don't look like video game characters. They look like normal-ass people. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford. Udom, huh? Representative here on Groundbreaker. The guy whose name was in all those logs. The starboard wall of the promenade shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Uh, take this happens a lot. Just the opposite. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations here. Surely this must be some sort of mix-up. They must have a real big bee in their bonnets then. Everyone knows you don't trifle with Groundbreaker if you want to get your goods on time. Hmm. I had to take a guess as to why. You probably riled up the wrong petty board bureaucrat, a man named Udom Bedford. Hmm. All right, I'll go straighten this out. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Maybe. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Oh, okay. Her shipment? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't oh, know much wow. else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Mm, okay. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, looking for someone named Gladys. Offense. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Uh, tell me about this Udom. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not mm. that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. So there's tension. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they got to depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us. And we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Nice. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom. But really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like. And that terrifies them. Nice. You can make the board fix it. You mean the heat? Sure, we can make them fix it. But what would they do in retaliation? Mm. They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. Hmm. The board wouldn't do that, would they? They absolutely would. The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Hmm. Thanks for the info. Okay. Peace. Peace out. All right. Bleep, 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 bleep. Quest of requires you in a restricted area. If caught in sight, you'll be shot on sight. Using a disguise will prevent immediate hostilities. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew ch I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. Ah, uh, okay. 
Okay, but before we can do that, we've got to do some other stuff. Hey, buddy. Hey there. Uh, that's it. Nothing. He's seeing you. Never mind. Hey, is this? Uh, can I use this? Records, arrivals, Cleo Freighter, Razor Freighter Freelancer, da, da, da. Departures, Freelancer on Sublight, Freelancer 9, Delivered Callahan's new mask, okay. Subject, joke, right? Da, 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 da. Mark it for 60 pigs. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Actual <laughs> <laughs> <Bullshit>. shit. <laughs> ah. Alright, so. Uh, I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. One problem at a time. On Monarch, it's a wasteland. You were hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Grant. Oh man. Right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now. I'm... Yeah, it's not. Let's not do that right you now. Know, it takes more muscles to frown than to. Let's go talk to this Udom jackass. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. Yeah, it's pretty nice looking, I have to say. Let's get this sh shit figured out. Go back to Byzantium, you gold plated bastards. <laughs> yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. Ah, the board. Organized, efficient, competent. Uh. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. And you are not he. Mm -hmm. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm gonna wring your scrawny neck, you spread. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? <laughs> uh, sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments. I'm totally to Star Trek in this playthrough, by the way. What was your relationship? I know you guys like. He was my dearest friend, my only friend. And that's not how I read it, you but have to okay. Say, you must know that picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Uh, I didn't look. Uh, yeah. He totally did. Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such you a bet. sentimental man. <laughs> Tell me, how did he die? He was crushed. Uh, eaten alive by uh, feral canids. No! <laughs> that was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... their droppings. I mean, he was probably devoured posthumously. Again, yeah, sorry, can we get back to the uh, topic at hand? Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... Dude, you could have just messaged, like, Alex sent me an email. to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm uh -huh. sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Uh... Never mentioned him. <laughs> Technically well, true. He did, was dead when we got out of the pod. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do now? Uh, Board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Uh, 
I feel like I'm going to regret this. Uh, can, you, can you get me a Stellar Bay? Oh, good law. Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? So that's a no? No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. We didn't have to crack open the thesaurus. Best to be clear, I believe. <laughs> All right. Ask away. Uh, later. Later, bro. All right, so that's dealt with. So let's go talk to this Gladys person. But before we do that, let's talk to the most interesting person in the game. Well, sorry about the heat. <laughs> Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero G brew extra refreshing. <laughs> it's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. <laughs> Taste the freedom. Of slogans to keep track of. I don't think that's one of the Spacer's Sometimes choice of slogans. So in case you're wondering about my th the video thumbnail and the, and the costume I put on poor Deadpool, it's this fellow. Ever been to Edgewater? Heard of it. My orientation Aether Wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery. Mm -hmm. Which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. It's not so bad. They're struggling, but they got good hearts. That's true. Yeah. I'll Texture pop okay. in, it's part of the game, it's not my computer, there's nothing Take to be done. Up, polish it up, and make the best of it. So, what can I get you? Some soap. Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. I mean, that's solid advice. I want to ask you about that hat. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our consumer care headwear division. Hey, uh, you doing alright in there? Oh, I'm having a stellar day. And not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. <laughs> oh, Martin. Can you see in there? I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the spacer's choice catalog. Which is available here at a reasonable price. So how do you... <laughs> Spacer's Choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time, but we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat wash, mm. mouth wash, and manta floss are among the exciting line of manta floss currently mm. in development. Do you miss eating solid food? <laughs> don't miss out on these deals. You'll find oh my God, none dude. like them on all a groundbreaker. Or anywhere in the Halcyon colony. Do you have to sleep with your hat? <laughs> Double sleeping? Try our lunar eclipse mix. That's two handfuls of pep pills washed down with a hearty swig of two-hour energy brew. Oh, wow. The blast will send you through the stratosphere, and the crash will knock you out gold, guaranteed. I mean, that's good. Does Spacious Choice make you wear that hat? Add an additional 10% to your purchase <laughs> today, and the proceeds will be donated to Spacer Cares, our premier corporate welfare program. At Spacer's Choice, we mm. care about your health and emotional well-being. That's, That's not why true. We put Martin through six years of vendor school, only to make him wear this hat. Six years, huh? Do you need me to help get you out of there? Even if my contract didn't forbid it. I think, uh, I think it's part of me now. Now, are you ready to make Spacer's <laughs> Choice Lunar Green Moon Mouth Lozenges a part of you? Lunar Green. It's a part of me now. Spearmint. I'm addressing the man beneath the mask. Are you okay? I, uh, you know, damn it. No slogan for that one. <laughs> uh, look, this hat, my job. It may not seem like much to a brave space captain, but they're all that I have. If there are oh, you poor, poor brave man. Then we all have to live in them. Mine can be no worse than someone else's. 
I mean, now, if that's fair. Chit -chat, I hope you don't mind if I make the most of this short life and try to be the best moon person I can be. Sorry if I pushed you too hard, Martin. It's fine. I should be stronger than this. Thanks for taking an interest. Uh, speaking of interest, can I interest you in some quality budget goods? At <laughs> Baser's Choice, we cut corners so you don't have to. Yes, bless you, Martin. Uh, have a look. Okay. Do you have... you do... You know what? These are actually fairly cheap. These helmets are pretty cheap. These armors... that armor is okay. It's pretty cheap. And they have Moon Man helmets. <laughs> I'm not buying it, but they have Moon Man helmets. Oh, you, you, you beautiful Moon Man. I will take them both. And while we're here, because, uh, you know, give me, I mean, it's 10, so it's better than nothing. And a couple of those. All right. Uh, sell my junk. Yeah. Okay. So now... that back on. Love of God. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Parvati. Have an actual non-crap helmet. Have some actual pretty okay armor. Max, you've got a shotgun. Huh? Oh, it's level six. That's why. I guess that's fine too. I mostly meant uh, here have a thing for your face and a thing for your body. Vestments. Also does dialogue skills. It's light. It's one pound. Uh, this is the same, pretty much the same thing. Alright, whatever. There we go. There you go. There, now you look decent. Now everyone looks okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go this way. Mm, can we rent an upstairs room? <laughs> oh, some more vending machines. Vedanaz. Oh. Oh, snap. Give, give me mag picks. Give me all of them. Da, da, da. All right, let's go talk to this person. All right. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Yes. You here for a particular reason? I am. Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? They did not. Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. Hey, that's fair. Phineas uh, actually sent me. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. <clears throat> you and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. Mm -hmm. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Indeed. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Okay, tell me about the... 10,000 bits! Tell me about this opportunity. Any chance for discounts since Phineas sent me? Phineas? That old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light he in the wallet, too. He did not. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Wow, never mind. So tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Hmm. 
Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Uh, no qualms. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. No. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Mm hmm. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Angie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Hmm. Why was it abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone Possible. poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Hmm. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Oh, well, thanks for letting Those me know. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Hmm. Alright, I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Hmm. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we right. got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Very true. Abandon outpost corporate secrets. Get it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. All right. Thank you for your time. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Here. Yeah. Alright, so with that, this has been the Outer Worlds. Sorry there wasn't really any, there was no combat this episode, it was very plot heavy. But uh I'm Captain Mintbeard. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. So wash your hands, wear your masks, stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks so much and peace out.